Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at a one more very powerful feature in Excel that we call data list. Say we have a data entry form like this where you have full name, high date, location and salary and things like that. And say you have a department column where you have a fixed number of departments say I mean if you look at here there's a department list you have accounting administration customer support finance human resource and things like that say this is this data entry form is given to some data entry person and if he is entering a department other than what is there in the list the system should be able to tell him or it should stop him from doing that so for that we make use of data list in Excel wherein we create a data list and from there user only can choose from that list he can't enter it. So how we can do that is say we are go to data tab and go to data validation and you choose data validation again and and the setting you choose list and in the source you give the location as this and click OK so when you come here and choose so you can see this department is coming in suppose you can enter accounting and same format if I copy across down it is going to have same format see. and here I can choose uh, say accounting and maybe this is IT and if I try to enter something else, so it says it's not valid. So you want to retry, it goes back to that. And again, if it taps, again, it keeps coming back. So this is good for controlling the data entry to minimize the error or to avoid the error. But there is one problem with this. Say you have department up to here. And say tomorrow there is one more department as added to this say business development and if you come here and try to choose that it is not there say you have up to R&D sales and others this is because so if you go to the data validation tab again and look at this say it is referring only up to 12 so we should be changing this back to say 13 I mean to the new range and click OK or click here and select up to here and click OK so it will ask you whether you want to do this change for entire range say yes here Here, we'll go to the source and we'll select here and I'll say OK. So now, if you look at this, there is a business development coming here. So, but this is very painful because tomorrow we don't know whether there will be one more department gets added or two more departments get added. So, this is a pain. To avoid that, we can do one more thing. So, instead of so, we'll delete all this what is created and there is no data list here so we will do the same thing so what we will do is we will convert this to a table so converting to a table is select the range and press ctrl T and you will have this and it will ask you whether you have my table as headers mark this ok so you can see this table tools are available and design is there and this is a table 3 so this I will make it as a department list and press enter say, uh, say departments so we have a, look at here so we have departments and this is referring to this 
and you can see this is a table by looking at this there is a table tools and designs here so now in the data tab the data validation we will refer this table instead of the range the good list and how to refer the table is say equals indirect and open the bracket is within quotes and say departments this is the table name and in the square bracket we we'll say department name as a field name and we will close the double quotes and close this bracket as well so now press ok so now you can see it is up to business development is there say we are adding one more now say we add um, say uh, we have R and D is a personal department, and now if you come here and see this personal as well. So why? This is because this keep growing. I mean, this is a table. So if you look at there is a corner here, this is this keeps growing. So the always the table will have entire list, not the one which is which was created in the beginning. So it is. Very good to have a table created for the list and refer the table in the data list to make this data list dynamic. Otherwise, this will be very static one. And if say if you have ten data list similar similar data list in the sheet, so all ten places you need to go and update. But if you are using the table, so you no need of updating your formulas. So whatever changes or whatever new data comes here, the automatically it appears here. Hope you enjoy this video. Keep coming to this channel to see more Excel tips and tricks. Thank you.